I know that I said that the next video was going to be on own root rose suckers. Um, and I totally planned on it being that. However, I found something that was a little bit more concerning um, that I wanted to address now. Um, I know that chat G GTP has been around for a little bit. I just wanted to see what it would do if I asked it to write me an essay on a specific rose. So I asked it to say I asked it to write me a 500 word essay on Charles de Mills. And the first one it gave me, it started out by saying it's an old garden rose, which is accurate. Um, and it briefly described the flower color, which, yeah, you could probably get away with that. Um, and then it started giving background information about Charles de Mills. Unfortunately, the history of Charles de Mills has been lost to time, so I'm not really sure where it got it, got it its, its information from. Um, and then it continued by just giving general rose information, such as it has it can um, have rose hips, and you can use them for herbal teas and supplements. Which those are, rose hips can be used for herbal teas and supplements, but Charles de Mills, because it has so many petals does not always set rose hips. Um, I've grown it for years and have yet to see a viable rose hip on it when it's been left to its own devices. Um, I know that there have has been at least one breeder who has used it as a seed parent, but without talking to him, I'm not going to uh, go into how he did that. I can speculate that he removed its flower, its petals, though, in order to do that. Um, the, then I asked it to write a 500-word essay on Charles de Mills that is concise and accurate. That was worse. Um, it changed it. It gave it like a specific class, which Charles de Mills is a once-blooming Gallica rose, and its article pulled up as a hybrid perpetual and um, gave it a rose breeder name and a year specific year um, gave it a height of six feet which and don't know if it can get to that um, maybe in some situations it might but I have never seen it get that tall uh, so just be careful on the information that you get about roses who knows where it's coming from um as a aside i asked it to do a specific article about me and i gave it some information and it, it responded and i quote i'm sorry but as an ai language manual i cannot generate an article about an individual without accurate and inform and up-to-date information additionally i cannot browse the internet or access real-time information end quote uh, if it can't browse the internet, where is it getting this information in the first place? So just be, uh, on a side note, just be careful with the information that might be coming from the artificial intelligent language models such as chat, GPT, and other stuff regarding roses and otherwise. Um, I will cop, I will post the uh, article, the essays that they wrote that it wrote on it in a description below. If you want to read that, um, I'm not going to read them to you. Thank you for your time and have a good day.